Um, I've been dancing for pretty much my whole life, but I didn't really seriously pursue it until my later high school years. I decided um, that, you know, I really loved it. Um, and I switched schools to Eastern Connecticut Ballet. And then during our last productions of my senior high school year, um, I decided that that's what I wanted to do. And I kind of changed my whole college plan. And I applied to ones that had um, not only great academics, but a great dance conservatory program. And that's what led me to Butler and then here. <laughs> I do remember seeing Mikhail Baryshnikov's um, the Nutcracker, the one with Chelsea Kirkland in it. Um, it's a famous VHS, I think it's on DVD now, but that's definitely the first ballet. I loved it <laughs> when I was really little. I'd have to say here, my favorite roles have been, um, of course, when we did Leigh Patner's, um, Frederick Ashton's um, Leigh Pat. Uh, I really enjoyed doing White Couple um, with Max here. That was really fun. It's a sweet, cute little ballet. Um, I also really enjoyed uh, performing a more theatrical role. Um, the first year I was here, we did Romeo and Juliet, and um, I did Lady Capulet, and that really tested my um, theatrical abilities here. You kind of had to really put it all out there, and which is hard as a new dancer in a new place. So that was probably a really impressionable role in my career. <laughs> Outside of dance, um, well currently I'm mostly all business now. I work, I teach in the school, um, I work in a restaurant, um, but growing up I was actually quite an avid musician. I played the bassoon, um, I played in a small orchestra, um, I was actually quite competitive. Uh, I did the All-State Music Festival in Connecticut my senior year of high school, and I was the third in the state, and I've played, actually, some of the pieces we've performed. Um, I've played, for example, Rodeo, The Nutcracker, um, these musical scores I've played as a musician, and now I perform them as a dancer. It's definitely given me an edge um, musically um, to have that musical background, and I miss it, um, but it's kind of funny how things work out. I actually just... Um, was taking out the trash one day and I heard something outside and I was like, I know that sound, it's, that's a bassoon. And I find that my neighbor, um, my neighbors in my townhouse are actually bassoonists, so that really was kind of cool how that works out, small world. <laughs> I'm a dancer because, um, you know, it's the only way I feel personally um, a person can be um, visual art, musical art, and art in time. And it's something about being all three that is incredibly rewarding. There's nothing like it. You get an adrenaline high from it. Um, you know, you just get such a rush from performing and every day dedicating yourself to this you know, visual, musical, and art in time. And really, I've, I've been a musician, and there was just something I noticed missing. It was that visual aspect that you just could not get from uh, performing live music, as wonderful as it is. I really felt most, um, most alive and happiest performing on the stage um, with all three combined.